Welcome back YouTubers to the Renegade 4-Wheel Drive YouTube channel. My name is John. Today we're going to be installing a Warren Xeon 8,000 pound winch with a Warren Elite full width bumper. Uh, the guys at Reckless Motorsports uh, hooked us up on a sweet deal with this bumper. Uh, the winch was actually designed for another project that uh, we're not going to deal with. So let's get into the installation. As always when dealing with Warren, their fit and finish is phenomenal. The quality of their products is beyond compare. I mean they produce some of the best products out there on the market. Uh, and I am not sponsored by Warren at all. I've just had Warren products on every four-wheel drive vehicle I have owned. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get into the installation. Alright, so the first thing we need to do to get started is we will need to remove these uh, fascia uh, trim clips right here. There's two on the top and a couple on the bottom. So the easiest way to do this is to use a small screwdriver or a trim tool to get underneath it and lift the center portion out. So you just take your trim tool work down and around and get underneath it and once you get underneath you can feel it grab and you just lift straight up if you don't have a trim tool you can use a small screwdriver so there's the one, one on that side and there's one over here alright so once both of these are removed off the top you're going to pull out the actual backing. And again, just use your tool or a small screwdriver and lift it straight out. Alright, so the second thing we have to do is we have to get underneath the Jeep and on the underneath there's eight of these plastic clips that run underneath the bumper as well as two eight meter eight millimeter bolts so let's go ahead and remove those clips and bolts just like before use your trim tool or a uh, small screwdriver get underneath it and just slide it out you just work your way all the way down Alright, once you get the clips out, you have an 8mm bolt here and an 8mm bolt right here that need to come out. All 
All right, so the next thing we're going to do, which isn't in the instructions, but it's going to make it a little bit easier, is I'm going to remove uh, these fascias right here that close up this wheel well opening. There's a couple bolts on each side. You're going to need a 7 millimeter socket to do this, so let's get this done. And once you get those bolts out, All right, so the next thing we're going to have to do is remove these two bolts right here and remove the factory skid plate support. So let's go ahead and do that. You're going to need a, uh, a 16 millimeter socket to do this. And the skid plate comes right out. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the fog light wiring harness from the bumper. So you're going to need a pick and a flathead screwdriver. So we'll do this real quick. So you take your pick, you come in here, and right there is a little tab. And you just pull it back. and it allows this, bright, this uh, harness to snap off. So then you take your flathead screwdriver, you reach in there, and you'll feel the little tab, and the whole thing will disconnect. So now we can go on to removing the bumper. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to remove the four bolts on each side of the frame rail. So we're, we're looking at the back side of the bumper from underneath the vehicle. You got two right here, and then two on the other side of this frame rail right here. And it's the same thing on the other side. These are going to be 18 millimeter bolts. So let's go ahead and get these taken off. All right, so our camera died halfway through. Um, so the next step we do after we remove the eight bolts that hold the bumper on is we actually pull the bumper off the vehicle. So just grab it, give it a little shake. And it'll come right off. So, as you can see right here, there's the uh, the studs that we had to take those uh, nuts off of. The outside ones right here, we were able to use 
an impact wrench to get it. The inner ones, we had to use a regular ratchet. So with the ratchet, it takes a little bit longer, but it's it's very easy to get to. So. so now that we have the bumper off the Jeep, we need to get to these light brackets and remove the lights in this wire. So we're going to have to take these four bolts out right here that hold this steel plate in. So you're going to need a 13 millimeter socket to do it. Let's get this out of here. Alright, so with that out of the way, we have access to this, to this wiring harness. So, again, we'll use a trim tool and we'll pull each one of these little clips. All right, now that that's undone, we're going to focus on removing these light pods. All right, so now we're going to focus on the lights. You're going to need a T20 Torx bit to remove the three bolts that hold each one of these lights in. So. Go ahead and just save the hardware. And just take the whole both lights and the wiring harness out. And now you can discard of the bumper. So the next step we have to do is we have to install these six uh, half inch carriage bolts into the, uh, the bumper. As you can see I've already done one so you just slide them in and just let them sit right there. It's kind of a little bit of a pain to get to. But once you get them lined up, they're not they're not too terribly bad. So we'll get all six of these put in place and then we'll go on to the next. Now that all these bolts are in place, we're going to install 
these clips, which will hold these bolts so that when we try to install the bumper, uh, they won't back out, as you saw that one earlier fell down on me. So all you need is this little washer and a socket. So what you do is you place your washer on the head of the bolt, you take the socket, and you just force it down on there. Use your hand to back the bolt up so it doesn't move around as bad. Now we got that one, we'll tackle this top one and we'll put them home. So, and you just do the same thing on the other side. Alright guys. Once you got all the clips and uh, the bolt carriage bolts installed, you're going to want to install your factory fog lights into these brackets. Uh, because I have the halogens, it's different than the LEDs, so if you have LEDs, refer to the directions. But with the halogens, you're going to install these two socket head bolts right here with the matching nylock washers. I didn't film this because it was an absolute pain to try to film and uh, and assemble it so I just assembled it and showed you the finished product. Now to get them to fit better you need to clearance some of the plastic that uh, was on the factory housing but when you do that it allows it to fit beautifully up in this bumper. And allows the light to sit in there much further. So now that we got that, we're going to install the hardware for it. Alright, now that you have the light bracket installed, it's time to secure it to the bumper. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter box in wrench. And it's real easy, just and there you go. And just do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I didn't film this part, but once you get your light brackets installed, go ahead and add the wiring harness back to here. Uh, just push the tabs in the little holes uh, to secure it to the bumper. Now the next part we have to do is we have to remove part of the uh, inner frame uh, gusset. So we got two sections we got to remove. One on each side. These are going to come out. And once you remove them, you can go ahead and discard them because you're not going to be reusing them or the hardware. Alright, so our camera cut out on us again. Uh, because we're running a worn Xeon winch, we have to recess this bracket right here on the frame on both sides. So we've already done that, touched it up with paint, just on a personal note, Wear the proper protective gear, and after you're done cutting, be very careful when you're getting up because it the metal can be extremely sharp. And as I proved, I 
put a nice little cut on my arm doing this. So just be careful when you do it. All right, so after you have your cream, uh, those tabs on the frame clearance, you want to go ahead and install the fair lead. I chose to run a roller fair lead. We're not on rock trails down here in South Louisiana, so this makes for a good, a good, uh, good fair lead for down here. So you're going to put the two bolts in. Uh, they're half inch bolts, uh, one on each side, and you're going to tighten them down to 75 foot pounds. All right, so now we're going to install the winch bracket, uh, winch plate brackets. So we're going to install these on the bumper. When you do it, do not tighten this down all the way just yet. So you want to use the M10 carriage bolts and flange nuts. And it's going to go just like this. And you're going to repeat the process on the other side the same way. All right, so now that we have the bumper mounted to the Jeep, we're going to tighten those six co uh, carriage bolts that we put on the bumper earlier. All right, guys. The next thing we have to do is we have to install these frame doublers inside here. And they're going to come out through these holes. So what you do first is... You're going to insert this just like this. Try to get it to where we got a light. And then you're going to tighten it down, install the next bolt, and tighten it down. And once you do that, you can go ahead and tight and do the final tightening. You can do the final tightening on those two bolts right here. All right, guys. So now that the bumper's on. All the bolts that hold the bumper in place have been torqued to the proper specs. We're going to go ahead and put the winch on it. Uh, we've already installed the, uh, the nuts inside the winch because when we drop it down into the bumper, we're not going to have access to them anymore. So let's go ahead and get that winch dropped down on in there. Welcome back, YouTubers. It's day two of this install. We got a late start on it yesterday and had to shut it down. Uh, due to family obligations, my son came home from school, so had to spend time with him. One of the things we found out right before uh, we shut down for the day was that we didn't clearance enough on the front bumper uh, tabs. So I'm going to show you all what we did to fix that real quick. So as y'all can see right here, the winch was hitting here and right there. So... We had to get a, a bit from the store this morning and come back and grind enough to uh, recess it to where it could sit in there properly. Now that we've got that done, we're going to clean it up, get all the metal shavings out, and uh, paint everything, and then we'll put the winch back in. All right, YouTubers. So we've got the winch set down on there. We went ahead and started all of the bolts. There's four of them that you have to access from the underside of the bumper that secure the winch to the bumper. So before you put the winch in, you got to put these nuts on the inside. I'm going to try to show you. Oh, let me get my light. Oh. 
you can just barely see it down there in the corner but there's these nuts that uh go in there to hold the the bumper or the winch down to the bumper they're a real pain to keep in there so a little trip a little tip to make your life easier is just get some black electrical tape and put over the little opening once you just put the nut in and then once you get done just use a uh, just use a long handle pick and you just reach in there and grab a hold of the electrical tape and you can pull it right out. I've already done it on this one. So, and the winch, uh, the bolts that hold the winch down, you want to torque those down to uh, to 35 foot pounds per Warren's instructions. So, let's get under here and take a look. <clears throat> So there's your first bolt right there and you can see the one on the other side and then the other two are access back here these actually are really easy to get to on the back the front you need to use a uh, a thin walled socket or just a regular socket an impact socket is just a little too big so we're gonna get these things all torqued down and then we'll get to running the wires for the winch Alright guys, one of the last things we need to do before we finish this up is we have to run the lines from the winch to the battery so that the winch can have power. Easiest way to do this is to pull the grill out a little bit and run the wires behind the grill. There's six of the little plastic rivets that, uh, that come out just like they did on the little trim tab on the bumper so use a trim tool or screwdriver and just pop up the center and then pop up the uh, the little retainer and then you want to just give a gentle tug on the grill and you'll pop the little pressure clips out so you don't need to completely remove the grill but you just need to open it up a little bit to where you can have some room to work alright so there's everything installed the cables are run up behind the grill they come out right there wrap around and positive to positive negative to negative red to red black to black used a couple uh, zip ties just to kind of keep it neat and held together so it wasn't just wires laying all over the place all right so that's our video on how to install the Warren Elite bumper and Warren Xeon winch on your 2020 Gladiator. Uh, sorry about some of the footage on it. We're still new to this and learning. Uh, one side note, before you use your winch, uh, you need to take it out, hook up to a tree, and stretch that cable off, leaving only four or five wraps on the drum. And you're gonna need a second person for this. One to sit in, one person to sit in the vehicle and apply pressure to the brake system uh, with the vehicle in neutral, of course, and the other person to retract the cable, making sure the cable lays nice, neat, and uh, tight. So that way you'll re uh, reduce the chance of kinking or breaking cables. Uh, again, we really enjoyed making this video for you. This is only our third one. We got more coming. The next one of the next videos we'll be working on is making a uh, rolling cart for this rogue fabrication tubing bender that I had uh, purchased to work on a previous project. I'd like to get it off my shop table and have it on its own cart, so that's going to be the next video we're going to be working on. Thank you for uh, watching the video. I know it was a little long. Uh, There'll be links to our Instagram and Facebook account. Please, uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe, and follow us on our other social media accounts. Again, I'm John. Thank you for checking out the Renegade 4-Wheel Drive YouTube channel.